The Augusta Free Press. Since 2002, the Valley's leading alternative news source. Daily news, sports, arts and culture, business and economy, stories, webcasts, and now video reports. The Augusta Free Press, the Valley's progressive voice. Reporting for the Augusta Free Press, I'm Chris Graham. It seemed an awful lot like last year. Oh, last year. JMU had Seton Hall down big at halftime and still had a 13-point lead with three minutes to go. But Seton Hall stormed back to win 112 to 110 in overtime, stealing one from the Dukes. A year later, and the Pirates seek poised to do the same thing. This basketball Juwan Jeans helped Madison fight off an early second half run by Seton Hall, which had trailed by as many as 21 points. But this Jeremy Hazel drive cut the JMU lead to five at 48-43. And this Paul Gall's runner in a lane gave the Big East foe its biggest lead of the night at 58-55 with 5.30 to go. James scored on this nice look from Andre Semenov to pull the Dukes back within one, and Addison now scored the Pirates 15-6 down the stretch to pull out an improbable 70-64 win in the Convoy Center Monday night. It's easily the biggest win of Matt Brady's tenure at James Madison University, which in a way was made possible by that breakdown at Seton Hall a year ago when Coach Dean Keener seemed to have everything going his way. It's a measuring stick, you know, anytime you can beat a team that's beaten USC and Virginia Tech, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's progress for our group. So it's a good win. Um, and it's something that we can build on, hopefully get better. James led the Dukes with 14 points off the bench. Kyle Swanson added 12, including a clutch three from the left corner with 2.07 to go that gave the Dukes a 64-62 lead and the momentum heading into the final stretch. Well, at halftime, we uh, pretty much told everyone uh, last year was we got complacent in the halftime. You know, we had pretty much the same lead, like a 20-point lead, and it went away real quick. Um, we just couldn't, we just had to uh, stay focus on what we needed to do, what we came in to do. Everybody was talking about last year's game, or so it seemed. I just said, let's just not turn the ball over. And I, and I thought, you know, give them credit, especially in the middle of 10 minutes of the second half. They did a terrific job of turning us over. And I thought that we didn't play a really smart second half. Obviously, we, we were down last year big, and we came back and won the game in overtime. So I think a couple of the guys that played last year remembered that. Guys like Pierre Curtis and some of those guys might have remembered that, might have been pumped up. JMU improved to 7-4 on the young season with the win. They'll have the holidays off before heading out west to Santa Clara, California for the Cable Car Classic. Reporting for the Augusta Free Press, I'm Chris Graham.